Hello everyone, this is Kinkoni IoT. In this video, I will tell you how to use this temperature sensor for automatic countering the relay output uh, for your electronic device and send the alarm message uh, for the notification for your mobile phone by the COL logic controller and the relay controller. Now we look at this COL and H32 relay controller. How to wire these lines? Because uh, this project, we will use two temperature sensors, like this, uh, two sensors. And we can use the channel one, channel one sensor for test the hot water and the cool water. The different water will, uh, like the temperature is more than 55 degrees, the lamp will on. Uh, that means you can control your warm hot or other electronic device uh, for your function and send the alarm message uh, for the not notification to the mobile phone. And when the temperature is down to the 25th degree, then the relay and the lamp will be turned off. So we can see this product. We can how to set the FTD command on the PC software. Because our CL logic control is work in local network. We protect the data security, so we will not let the controller with the cloud server. But the relay controller have connected our cloud server. It have a notification function, so we just use the output. Uh, maybe you have some rest channel output, you can uh, use this to input point. Uh, this relay 1 and relay 2 have connected to the input 1 and the input 2. Just every part is two line to the input part. So this is how to run. Now we let's look at how to configure the FTD command on the PC software for the COL logic controller. The first we connect the COL by the PC software and we can always see the temperature value. It monitors the real state of the temperature. Now we begin to set the FTD command for the temperature sensor. The number one command we can edit and we can choose the temperature one channel and this is more than uh, 55 degrees hold on for the time uh, two seconds just we change it to 55 degrees and add to if command then we change it to the zen and the relay we have connected the lamp with the 25 we can open the relay 25 uh, for the lamp and we can make a delay time, then we can let the relay one uh, output a signal to the input one because this is a trigger for the input sensor. This need two more time, uh, five seconds. We need at least uh, two seconds, then the input trigger will be enabled. So we just uh, uh, use the five seconds is uh, more safety. And also have some delay and uh, close the input one, just uh, close the relay one. Okay, we apply. Then we can create the number two. When the temperature is down, uh, what to do? Uh, when the temperature is down to 25 degree, and uh, we can add to if command, and also we can do the relay 25, and let it close, uh, close the lamp, and also, uh, let the relay one uh, output on and output close uh, with the interval delay time with the sec uh, five seconds. Okay, we apply. Now the command have been set. Now we begin to have our test. The temperature sensor put to the hot water. This is my mobile phone. You can see the temperature become up. Okay, the lamp is on. And now I have received the notification. Uh, you can see these words. Now we put the temperature sensor to the cool water. You can see what will be changed. The temperature become down. 
and the weight below uh, 25 degrees, you will see the lamp will be off. Okay, the lamp is off. And also you can see the message, uh, the temperature is down to 25 degrees. Okay, this is the temperature for the notification. Okay, now we have used the temperature sensor to automatically control the relay and send the alarm message for notification. You can do many other device country, automatic country by the temperature sensor or by other input sensor for digital input or analog input sensor for many different solutions for application. Thanks for watching.